We're live. Welcome back. Hey. Hey, girls. <laughs> hey, hey, girls. Hey, girls and squirrels. Hey, ladies. How right. are you? I want to go. I want to go big and strong into the first question. Okay. You have you ever had a friend, a girl, a girlfriend, or a friend that's a girl? A friend that's a girl. Okay. And you felt so passionately for her. And you didn't know what to do. Like you're like, oh, I want to date you. And I think you did. Yeah, like you like you want to date her, but you didn't know what to do with that. Because I think you did when you were younger. Yeah, I probably had many. I think I've had many. Right, right. So what do you? Especially when I was younger. So when I was younger for sure. What do you? What do you do with those feelings? Because like you're girl, you're you're getting probably have a couple more growing up here, getting older. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure they come all the time, right? So what do you do with a what do you do with a friend that's a girl, and. How do you address that? Do you actually like go, hey, what's up? I, I, I think I'm into you. Every time I have, yeah. Do you have you really? Yeah. And what, is, what happens with that? It's never, it, it's never been reciprocated. Do you think she just wants you to chase her? Maybe. I think the last one for sure. The last few for sure. Uh, but I like, I don't like that. And maybe I should, you know. I think so. I, I just don't like it. I don't like doing that. You don't like chasing? Well, to me, it's like we've been friends for months. We've been hanging out for months. We've been doing things for months. I asked you to go out, no, chase you more. Like, what do you mean? We, I, this is the build up. Like, we built the thing to now do the thing. Like, I didn't build it up to then, for, like, because in, in, in my mind, it's like I just built it up. You said, no, fuck you. Like, fuck you. What do you mean? No. <laughs> All right, cool. So like, you take it as you're offended? Not actually. Not in the sense of, like, I'm not actually offended, but it's like, we're, we're done. Like, that's how I work. I'm very, like, okay. I don't ask twice. Like, I'm not going to ask you twice, you know? I ask you. If you come back around and you That's have That's pretty change, sexy, actually. That is sexy, I'm man. I'm not going to ask you twice. If, I come, if you come back around and you change your mind, feel free to come back around and tell me. But I'm not going to ask you twice. That comes off as desperate. I'm not desperate. I don't need you that much. Yeah. You know? What do you think, I she, made it clear what do you think she's I, thinking? Like you, I, you make it clear that you like them and you want them. And if they don't want you back, then, like, you're not... You don't fucking... Cool, like you know, you gotta, like, <laughs> awesome. That's very unfortunate. That's, that's really not good. what I wanted to hear at all. But ultimately, everybody's got to hear it, so you kind of just got to keep going. Because then, if you're then you're hung up on a chick that said no, like what are you doing? You're wasting your fucking time. So what are you? Doing? I've had boys that have done this, like chase girls for months. Like they have boyfriends, and they're like, I'm t- like, I really like you. They tell them like three or four times. It's like, buddy. Are you paying for food every time you hang out? Yeah, are you paying for weed every time you hang out? It's like, buddy, she's using you for food and weed. She's using you for food and weed, and she doesn't have a license. She's using you for your car. She doesn't like you. She has a boyfriend, right? She has, oh, a, she boy- has a boyfriend, too? Like, yeah, she has a boyfriend, oh. and she doesn't like you. She told you. Like, there will be dudes who will blatantly, these women, I know these girls do it. Not all of these girls are twisted. Like, some of these girls are very, very upfront. We are just friends, and these guys just don't get it, and they still just have that, like, that little inkling of hope. It's like, you know how women are. Like yeah. women, like if they if they call it the ick, I guess if they get the ick, dude, it's you're fucking done. It's over. Yeah, you're not coming back. And that's why for me, it's like okay, you said no, then I guess that's my like it's not my ick, but it's okay, cool. That's a non-negotiable. Like mm-hmm. now, that's my thing. I don't allow myself to continue to pursue after I've been shut down like that. I do it in sales, but that's different. I don't like I'm not trying to sell myself to you in that regard. <laughs> No, I know. Like, it's, it's funny. If I'm just, trying to make money off of you, I'll keep asking you. You know, there's a way to go about it, obviously. But when it comes to asking a girl out, if she says no and, you, and you're still running in the same circles, then, like, I just – nothing about me changes. It's not like my no. demeanor changes when you say no. We're still the same. <clears throat> and so a lot of times that throws so them – that'll throw them off. friends with her? Or do you, like – is that relationship change? I don't like – I'm not a type – I don't have many friends that are girls. The only friends I have that are girls are my friends' girlfriends. Like, I really, I don't seek female friendships. Okay. At my age, I currently am not seeking female friendships. If I'm, typically, if I'm talking to a female, if I haven't already known her for years, chances are at one time I did like her, and that's why I started talking to her in the first place. So why do you think? So nowadays, when, yeah, nowadays when I talk to women, primarily it's, I'm not looking for a friend. Why do you think women in general don't respond to that, like, initial like, hey, what's up? You blowing the mic? How was that? Did you like that answer? <laughs> so why do you think we don't, don't respond to that initial... Um... Some of them do. Some of them don't. Some of them aren't sure. They need more time to make their mind up. And that's just cool. But it's like, okay, 
Each woman needs something yeah. different. Exactly, which is why I have my thing the same way you have your thing. Right. So if our things don't align, then it's never it, then it's never going to work. If it can't align at the fucking very beginning, then yeah. it's never going to fucking work. You know what happens a lot of times? I like, there's got to be that initial come together to where even if shit goes wrong after that, you can refer back to, like, oh, yes. when we first came together, things were good. This was what was going on. If you already come in with, like, back and forth turmoil... You fucking, you're not, you can't ever get fucking anything set straight. When's the plan? What's this? How do we feel about each other? What are we doing? Then I'm like, fucking, of course it's going to fucking end in flames. Like people, it never had a, it never had footing. That's why. People devalue themselves to a point that they yeah, don't. Dude, it's ridiculous. It's like, like why, why are you I'm not going to stoop yourself? down to a level. I'm not going to stoop down to a level to get a little bit of pussy. That's ridiculous. Yes. And I'm like, you look at yourself. You got to have a level of self I'm like, wow. I'm like, you, you need have to have a level of self, go for yourself. self. You're, I'm sorry. You have this to go for yourself. And it's like wow and then someone will come in and knock that person down because they don't feel about feel good about that person and it's like what the hell i'm like really? yeah no it really is yeah you're trying to get you're trying to get with a girl and yeah and you got to put someone else down you know it's like that's a lot insane. of times it's your own friend like you know how many yeah. friends, you boys getting like they say bros before hoes that's real but you know how many times the hoe comes for the bro especially with these guys now it's yeah. for real you know, it really um, happens. It's unfortunate, right? It's unfortunate. You don't want to lose your friend over a girl. Like, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. And so yeah. even, like, I've had issues with people, and I'm try. I actively try to make sure that we can, like, bring that back together. Because ultimately, it's like, that was such a temporary person who's no longer in either of our lives or isn't in our lives in the same capacity that they once were. So why do we still have that little bit of hatred for each other? Well, because this person got in between us. But, like, we were supposed to be, it was supposed to be that no one got in between us. That was supposed to be the whole thing. Yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you kind of met this person to have, like, a bond. And to and then, grow within what you already have. Yeah. Not to take you out of your circle. Like, you don't, like, build your vibration. Yeah, I don't know. This is how I feel about relationships. You don't want to get with somebody that's going to pull you away from what you already have. You want to get somebody that you can bring in and share what you already grow. have with. Yeah, build grow, up. level up. You like, don't have to go start over somewhere else. At least I don't. For some people, hey, you don't like where you're at, and you need you want your partner to be doing something totally different in a totally different area, and you want a fresh start. Dude, totally fine. For me, I like what I have going on, and it would be awesome to just like, cool, let's just keep building this up, and we'll be good to go. Whenever I meet somebody or talk to someone, it's like, am, am, is this relationship going to like help both of us get better within the year? Exactly. That's what it is. It's like, I, I'm like, I don't want to take your time away from whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter who it is, male, female, indifferent, it doesn't matter. But I don't want to take your time away, and I don't think like anyone else does either. No, exactly. But it's like, if, if I can boost you up, and by this time next year, you're like high-fiving me, like you've done, yeah. like, done whatever it is, I think that's what everybody wants. We're all like, like, like you, it's like get your real estate license or do whatever, but like you and I, this is, one, this is that, that actually happening. Yeah. We're actually doing that. He, he reached out to me like, yeah, let's do it. Why? Why not? <laughs> like, yeah. I think like you usually do that with one of your friends or partners or whatever, and say, "Let's hook up and do something." Challenge yourself a little bit and kind of build that relationship up because it's fun. You fail, so what? Laugh. It's yeah, you can be. Yeah, you can be upset about everything going on around you, but in complete solitude, feel free to continue doing that. You know, drinking heavily, being addicted to pornography, whatever you're doing with yourself, or take your closest friend and ask them if they want to sit down for thirty minutes a week and put a camera you on. You are right, honestly. And just see how much better your life gets. Ask your buddy if he wants to go to the gym three days a week. Ask your buddy if he wants to go for a walk. Ask your buddy if he wants to hop on a quick phone call once a week while you take a walk around the neighborhood. You know, you know you're, you're I guarantee right everybody out there, you got one How person. How much time do we waste that can just, watching TV? That can just rise you. Yeah, that can help you level up. Like oh. you should be using your the people around you. Like, how can we get together and elevate each other to where all of our lives get better? It's just better. It, that's better. what you should always be looking to do with everybody. You know, and that's why you have to make sure yeah. you're selective with who you pick and surround yourself with because the wrong energy brings you down so yeah. fast. I, I read, so fast. And, I, and if you get brought down early on, sometimes you know you see people who make mistakes in high school, or make mistakes in their early 20s, or their mid, even you know, up until their 30s. Like, sometimes it takes you 20, 30 years to rebuild, you know? So you got to be very, you have to be, yeah, you have to be have standards, you know? Don't devalue yourself for the approval of others, because chances are if you have to diminish what you are to get with others, then that's not the crew you should be working with. Like him and I talked about, like, him becoming, like, a comedian, but, like, but just for fun, not, like, to conquer the world. Not yet, but for fun. Why not? Why, why not? How many people? I just like there, to try stuff. To be completely honest, well, yeah. I just like how to many try of us stuff. can say, get on stage on a like 
an amateur night and just jump up there. Oh my, we were probably like, nope, nope, nope. But just do it. Just jump up there and just try it. Just fucking, yeah. Instead of just do it, just try it. It sounds less daunting. Yeah, like, it does less daunting. Try it. Yeah. Just try it. Just try it. I'm like, just do it, man. Your girl wants to put something in your ass? Just try it. Oh, my God. Like, come on. Just that's, give it a go. That's so bad. Like, you never know what it is. You come over. All right. Um, so, we were talking about this before we actually went on the camera, because I, I read tarot, and we talk talking about the death card, because the death card is one of those things that get, gets pulled, and I love the death card. Like, I really do. When I see the death card get pulled, I'm like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> that's getting clipped. Some some tarot. I don't know anything about tarot, but some tarot person's gonna be like, "This crazy. He loves when the death card gets pulled. He's whoop whooping for it." No, the death card is so good though. All right, it really we'll is. We'll see what the people say. So the death card is about rebirth, and um, so when him and I were talking about it. Whenever the death card comes up, it's just one of those cards that's like rebuilding. Um, for him, getting the death card would be like this moment for him. I would definitely have that, and. We're talking about different cards that pop, and I have a feeling I'm gonna to have to pull for him soon. Oh yeah, true. And we're gonna pull on the we'll pull on here. And um, Cosmic does his own stuff. It's not up yet, but we're gonna have him pull here, and then hopefully direct people over to him. And he's gonna eventually, you know, fans are gonna be able to get on live with him, and he'll actually be able to pull pull but, for you and read some of your energy. So I was pulling for him earlier, and it's it's one of those things that's really fun for me, and I would, and that's. The reason I mentioned this is because it's challenging myself to learn it more and more. And I, I was always intuitive, but picking up the cards and just saying, okay, I'm going to master this and kind of pick it up and know how to do it was one of those things. And I'm not a master. Like, I don't like say I understand it, but I can really, when I know the cards are really vibing, um, it, it tells me a lot about somebody. Like I can pick them up, read them, and just know what's happening in their life with with certainty and just have no question. So like for him, we're talking about the death card because we're just kind of making him understand like what the death card was. And a lot of times people say, oh, the death card is so bad. I'm like, oh, the death card is, it's like watching a rocket take off because that rocket's gone. It's, it's not, it's not even here anymore. It's re, it's reborn somewhere else. And the death card for him, it would be like these moments watching him kind of sit here and do this. Um, I would like to ask, like him, like, does he? How does he feel about like things like tarot and how the esoteric and the the, the spiritual stuff works? If he was able to prove to himself it works, how would you feel going and say next year and you could actually read tarot? If I could teach you that, what would you say? I taught you you read tarot and it works. Well, I already I read it today and I. Made somebody cry because I literally read them like a fucking literal book. So <laughs> I don't think I need to be taught anything. So you're already, but hypothetically, I need to be taught something. So you're already you're already on board. I think board. it's cool. You know, I think it's cool. I think it's novel. I think it's a novelty idea. Does that make sense? Yes. Like, I don't. Feel I like, agree. Like, I do. Agree. I, don't, I agree. Like yes. I don't feel like there's any. You know, there's no real backing, so it's hard there to be no like backing, you know. No. We can go to this like whatever, and there's it's like some, when someone dies, it's like where is that person when they die? Seventy, yeah, there's seventy-five different things, and all the, you can spin all of them to me at a certain point of time with a certain amount of weed in my system, and all of them sound viable. Right, every religion sounds cool to me. When yeah, you, you know, when someone who's very passionate, when people who are passionate about something in general get passionate about it, you have a hard time not just being like. Dude, I fuck. I also love making cool cues. I also <laughs> love the cylindrical yeah. nature of them. That yeah. is insane. I'm Tall grass insane. is the best grass. Yes, yeah. Maine blueberries are better. You're absolutely yeah. right. I have had them uh, in my granola. Uh, You're right. I have tasted seaweed. It is delicious. So when it comes to that stuff, taro, you know, I like it because it's like a novelty thing. I don't. The people who live by the horoscope on the day to day, oh, and that's like dangerous. base their attitude on that's it. Dangerous. I don't like that. Um, <sighs> Can I tell you for a second? The horoscopes yeah. are so dangerous because, like, he. Do you know what time of day you were born? Don't say it, but do you know what time? Um, it was in the morning. Time. Okay. Because that affects you. Like, not only the time, but where you were born. Like, it's called the natal chart, and it really affects you. Like, your horoscope, what they put in the papers is such a general. So I don't, yeah, so I don't remember mine, but I was given to me. And I always make this joke. And I, this is probably, this yeah. is a joke that's probably all online, but like, every. I'm 22. There's probably. I would probably say there's a lot of guys out there where, like, when you were trying to get with a girl, you had to text your mom what time you were born. Yeah. Because she's asking you these questions. 
And then she's yeah. taking out her yeah. books and she's yes. trying to get all this information out of you. Yeah. I've had to do it at least three or four times. But that stuff is the like, point where I should remember the time of day yes. I was born at at this point. But I do that not stuff. Remember. The natal charts are pretty accurate. I gotta say, because then they do like the three. They, I was explained to me as three signs: the rising and the sleeping, or some shit. Yeah. So you have your your primary sign, which is your sun sign, which everyone uses. Um, which is it's very it's very accurate for the for your actual time. Yeah. Um. So like so when Jesus was born, this is something I just learned recently. Like astronomers and astrologers, I guess were. They tra- They were the same. Like okay. they were the actual same person. And it was over the years. I guess they they separated. Them. Separated off. And um, what's is really fascinating to me because like we we still look at both of them. One's more like one's a, a discipline, a, and one's a science, and one's like a, yes, thank yeah, you. one's something that you yeah. So the but the time of day and the actual actual where you were born comes down. It tells you a lot about you. Like if you have a bad day, you you know your natal chart. It, and you, there's a lot of really cool apps out there. It's pretty, pretty spooky and how accurate it can get. But the overall ones, you, you'll see like USA Today, it's like saying, Yeah, or like high Facebook school. puts it out in the morning. Yeah. yeah. It's like what high school you went to. It's, yeah, it's like, like, don't talk to black people. You're like, what? This yeah. doesn't make any yeah, sense. No just going around yelling at everybody all day. It doesn't matter. It's like, it's like a weather report because it's your shifting. coffee's wrong in the morning. You're just like, fuck it. It's dude. a very generic I, I knew it when I read overview. it. Overview. Um, so anyone that uh, comment, honestly, because. The, the truth is, the comments will tell you, if you have, have you ever used a natal chart to get your daily report? It's so amazing. It's, it's really detailed. And if you have your partner's natal chart, it's really amazing because it will tell you what's going on. What's going on with them, yeah. But I, I, I'm not saying I can explain it, but yeah, no, it's just, it's one of those things where there's a, it's, it just seems like there's certain times where it's coincidental yeah. and you're just like, oh, okay, that's nice. That's why, that's where the deepness comes in. It's like, Every time I ask a question, I, trust me, I would love it to be like, no. <laughs> but I dig, and it's like, oh, wow, that yeah. is right. That's one of those things you can say, okay, well, where does that come from? And the tarot stuff ties into, like, oh, this person's a Cancer and a Scorpio. And, or this, you know, and, and when you start digging into those things, it becomes very evident that these people play a prominent role in your life. And even if you're watching the horoscopes and you have nothing enabled, like you do on your phone, we're talking about not tracking it. Yep. But if you have those things on, the the reports will come back very accurate. And I know the algorithms pick it up. But if you go on a different computer, different network, just look it up. It's it still comes back pretty accurate. Those tarot readers just using your astrology sign. It's it's pretty bananas. Yeah. So that's that's kind of what I want to start to get into just to help feed that that algorithm. So that where way. does the Chinese menu come into play? Um, what is that for based on? Mm-hmm. Like the dragon and all that. You mean like the, you mean like the what? The dragon, snake, rat. I have no idea. That has nothing to do with any of this. I'm not saying I'm 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 still learning. I have a the friend. Chinese animals. The what are those? Do you hey. know anything about those? I'm asking. Now I'm asking. Do you know I anything know. about the Chinese animals I on the menu? I don't know. I don't. I'm know. a snake. I think. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. I have no. Uh, I you're talking about the uh, the Chinese calendar, yeah. the birth years. Do you know I anything know. about that? No. That's that's far back. That's yeah. something you got to get into. The Chinese calendar. Yeah, I'll get into the Chinese calendar. We'll dig. We'll dig. Like I said, I, I'm, next episode is going to be entirely in Mandarin. Uh oh, someone's upset. Someone got really mad. Um, we're filming a fucking show. Shut up. Hey. Thank you. Jesus, you're not deep Some enough. Some people are so inconsiderate. You know, we're on a public beach and people have the nerve to honk and like talk and stuff. It's it's so <laughs> dumb, man. Can't you see we're filming? Can't you see? Can you see that we're filming on the beach? All right. Undisclosed so, location. So I want to ask this question early because we're starting to get into these political. Oh, so wait, what was my answer to that then? What? We I never gave my answer. I don't know. What, what, was, it, what was, my, was it the last question about the spirit about that stuff? You you gave me a question. Death card. Right? No, the question about all that all that world. You gave me a question about it, and I started working through it. I gave you horoscopes. I feel like those are wrong, and then you went off on your rant. But what was the question that prompted my original answer? Hey. Yeah, I don't... Or you said, like, yeah, do you think you could... Yeah. yeah that, that, that one really threw me off. And I'm not feeling good tonight. <laughs> He's feeling funky, yeah. Yeah, what's not, what was the question? What was the original question? Because we started the death card, and then we rolled into the tarot. Well, you were, yeah. Uh, and, then I, and, I, oh, and then we did astrology, astronomy. Yeah. 
And then what? Um, you, you know, yeah, you asked me something, and the astrology astronomy came in the middle of after you asked me whatever you asked me. You were very intent about it. I forgot. I partially answered it, though. I hope I helped. We'll have to see back on the tape what it was, but you definitely asked are... me something. There was a year from now tarot, but there was another component of oh. it that I didn't answer. There was an additional component that I don't think I've gotten to yet. But oh, I remember you, said you, you said you were able to read tonight. You read tonight. Oh, yeah, I was. I didn't. Yeah. So, so without uh, even knowing what the I think we were just basically so, we're, what we were talking about was the surface level of how you could read and saying it's more of like a, a novel. So you're saying, like, would you believe if you could do it yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Probably. Um, and I think the novelty is true. I think there is a lot, a lot of novelty because it comes from that belief of like a ghost reel. Well, are they? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Are they? I've seen some pretty crazy things. What have you seen? Anything? Any stories? Yeah. Uh, when I was my house, when I first had gotten it, it was definitely haunted. <laughs> I was. I used to work early in the morning and went took a shower at like five in the morning. Walked out in the hallway. We had just gotten the home. And I'm walking down the hallway, and it was it had to be right after 5 a.m. It's like 5:10, and I'm walking down the hallway. You weren't even born yet, and it was super, super early. And I'm walking, 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 and I look down the stairs, and I saw this old lady with a, um, say like a nightgown, and I saw her just past the top, bottom, the bottom step, like she just turned and headed towards the kitchen, and I saw her hand on the top rail. Oh, geez. And I saw her turn. And, and I'm like, and I remember I stuttered for a second. And now this wasn't at night. This was, I'm not like tired because I just woke up. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. whoa. And, I, and I remember I stopped and stuttered for a second. I was like, my, my heart jumped. I'm like, this is so weird. And so that was one of the things. And then at my house, um, so my wife, his aunt, I wasn't home. I was out with a friend and she was in the basement. We had our office in the basement at the time. She heard footsteps on the second floor, but they were like they they sounded like work boots going boom 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 going back and forth because we have hardwoods on the second floor going back like they were pacing, and the cat came up with her bottom of the first floor stairs looking up, and they she the cat was just staring on the second floor stairs looking up at and whatever was, at was there and he heard the footsteps again, and so my wife was like, um, "What's this? <laughs> What's this?" And there was another time we have we had a bunch there, but there was another time I was sitting there laying down and something grabbed my foot through the blankets and grabbed my right foot, all the toes grabbed it and let go. The last one was really good because this one corroborated. My wife again was standing in that same bedroom. We're standing and talking and we heard right next to us a scream of a little girl. Jeez, dude. It was like right here, and we heard it was like she was trying to scream, but it was almost like through another like dimension. I, that's the only way I could explain like it. Like muffled almost? Yes, it was muffled. Like she couldn't like scream loud enough to get to us. Jeez, dude, that's crazy. I have a couple more. You ever had the sleep paralysis? Yeah, I had that. Like, like I've had that a couple of times, but I, I, I just assumed that was just me having a bad dream. So I've had a lot of weird, crazy stuff. That's why I'm on here. Like it's like, dude, that, I, got like, a good it's sleep, just, I got a good sleeping story. On New Year's, I think this was two years ago. Yeah. Shout out Cam, Casey, Ireland, Ryan, some other people. I think that was it. Been so Sorry, long. I don't remember. My brain is Swiss cheese. Yeah. But um, yeah, dude. We uh, it was I think it was it was either New Year's or it was sometime where we all this was yeah I was maybe twenty. We got like wicked drunk. I don't drink anymore, and this is because normally every time I would drink, I didn't have a you know, when you smoke weed, like you can smoke so much weed and like still do whatever you want, mm. and then you can't do that with alcohol. And I didn't like necessarily like I don't like that about it. And so is I'm, that a control thing? Yeah, I'm just reckless. I just go okay. too hard too early, and then I just ruin my day. Okay. So for me, it's like all right, I'll just stop. It doesn't really. I don't feel like I don't have a better time when I'm drunk. I definitely don't. I, it's not like I open up more or anything. All right. But so we had drank a lot this particular evening, and so I think I was like half sleeping, half not. But I would always sleep in his kitchen was carpeted where the dining room table was. He lives in a small apartment, my buddy. And so I just would always plop on the carpet floor and just sleep on the floor. So I had like a squish mellow pillow and I was sleeping on the floor. And the next thing I know, I woke up in the bathroom using my pants as a pillow. And there was like four people standing in front of me freaking out with a flashlight on me. <laughs> and so then, then 
I go downstairs back and go back to bed and am like freaking out for like the next not freaking out, but just wondering what happened for the next eight hours, thinking I was blackout drunk, being like belligerent, being an asshole. It turns out I had woken up and was sleepwalking. Oh, and so God. I had sleptwalked over to my ah. buddy Stein. My buddy Stein. Stein. Shout out Stein. Sorry. Yeah. Stein was laying on the couch, and there's a, there's a lamp at the end of the couch. And so I went up to the lamp. He woke up, and I'm standing above him with a lamp. And he said, I just, like, started shaking the lamp, like, on the table. Like, I grabbed it and started shaking the lamp. And that I was, like, so I was, scary breathing, I was like, breathing really heavy. And I'm a big guy, like, bigger than any of them. Yeah. And I was, like, much heavier back then, too. And so I guess I was, like, breathing real heavy. And so then I, like, went and checked the closet or something. And then I went upstairs. I went I went inside of their, like, they had, like, a bathroom closet. I never had even opened that door in my life going in his house. For some reason, they said I opened it up and went inside of the closet. Like, fucked it up. Because there was no room for a person yeah. to be in there. Obviously. But I, like, forced myself in there, shut the door, came back out. I'm pretty sure I might have gone back downstairs. I walked, so case uh, my two friends that ah, that sounds like, so funny. My two friends that lived in the house, they slept upstairs in his room. So I walk yeah. into the room, and uh, I think they had whoever was downstairs had followed me up yeah. and been like, "Yo, this guy's like sleepwalking." And so I was in there, her room, and she said I was just super out of breath because I just like gone up the stairs and gone in the closet and all this shit, and I was just staring at the TV screen, the blank TV screen, just like. <laughs> Oh my god, that must have been so scary. So, um, and she's going like, "Tyler, are you are you okay? Like, yeah. Are you all right?" And I'm not answering. And then I think I started like mumbling some words. Oh. I went in the bathroom and I shut the door behind me. And then I guess I took my pants off and I was using them as a pillow on the floor. But uh, my buddy Cam was like the only person that felt com- they, my one of my buddies. Stash, well, shout out! He wanted to call a church because he thought we needed to have an exorcism because he really thought that there was something like going on. Well, so it's all of them were it's a courtesy. All of them were sort of freaking out. Yeah, it's a courtesy. Courtesy exorcism. He yeah. was looking to get a courtesy yeah, exorcism. Curtis, yeah. <laughs> you met Stein. Yeah, I know. That's nice. Yeah. That was nice. Courtesy man. exorcism. That was yeah. yeah. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, shout out Stein. Courtesy yeah. exorcism. Yeah, that's a good choice. Good so choice. they were rather than good like choice, yeah. you know, they didn't think they could wake me up because they thought, you know, the demon would come out and go into them and we would take over the whole metropolitan area. <laughs> so, so good. So they decided instead to like wake up Cam, who was so drunk, but like the most mature individual out of all of us. Yeah. If, you know, considering the fact that I was the one sleepwalking. So then he went in just so drunk. Hey, and I guess. Or obsessed. Or, what? No, is it, was it or obsessed or possessed? Was it possessed? I was possessed. Oh, possessed. Okay. I'm obsessed. I was obsessed with sleepwalking. I fucking love sleepwalking. I'm always sleepwalking. <laughs> I sleepwalk every night. I, said, every, dude, I, I start walking and I just shut my eyes and hope I start to fall asleep soon. He's so obsessed with sleepwalking. He's so obsessed. All hey. he ever does is fucking sleepwalk. All day. He won't, all day, all night. I'm taking a nap and I go, if you walk out here with your eyes, where's Stein? We need him to stop this. Stein. <laughs> I don't know if you know Shane Gillis, but he has a hilarious skit on YouTube. Yeah. Shout out Gillian Keeves. Uh, it's sleepwalking a cop. Is it? And so, yeah, he plays a cop. And I guess he has a sleepwalking problem. And so, like, all his friends are over and they're having a drink. Yeah. Everyone's, like, having a drink. And it's, like, a late, you know, bottles of wine are out. Yeah. And so he goes, all right, I'm going to bed. Yeah. His wife literally says, like, make sure you lock the door. Like, <laughs> this guy fucking sleepwalks every night. So then he ends up sleepwalking downstairs, but he ends up, like, bringing his gun. So he's, like, pulling his gun on people, <laughs> his dicks out. It's the funniest fucking most chaotic three minutes of your life. It's so good. It is so funny. <laughs> but so anyway, so I'm in the bathroom yeah. sleepwalking, yeah. and I'm on the floor. And what, from what Cam told me, I'm in the I'm on the ground, and I'm, like, squirming, and I'm, like, rabbits in the hole. We got, we're chasing him. We're chasing him. And he said he started talking to me within my dream because i was like in that lucid yeah. halfway in halfway out and then eventually he just nudged me and i and that's when i woke up and came to and he said i went and just went and laid right back down on my bed and crashed again that's so cool. that is actually pretty good yeah but i woke up and left because you know that's what i do and then i was just wondering what happened oh, for a while that's such a good story though see yeah imagine you never slept over so that happened so i slept walk oh. Those are, this is what I was, this is what we were saying before earlier. Yeah, that was good. I can't. I had a get out. My mom did. My mom said when I was younger, I yeah. came out of. Uh, I came out of my room and there's a hallway and then you go to the living room, but if you could take a right and go down into the basement, and she said that I walked out of my room like a little zombie and walked to the door and opened it, and she was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa what are you doing?" And I turned and was like, "They told me to meet them down there." And I kept saying that to her. And I remember she told me that. And just now it clicked that, like, wow, that's creepy. 
Yeah, I'll, not like I've she, never heard this story. She said it like, oh, he was going to play with his friends down there so the next morning, but now it's like, dude, I could there could have been a demon. And you were talking about all this stuff. There's always banging in my basement. Always random banging. And I never so know what causes it, dude. And half the time, oh, the cats so like go nuts and they're looking at stuff, and you'll hear like, bang, bang, bang. And I don't need it. I don't pay it any mind. So it can I bring a Ouija board over? Can you? Yeah. Why not? But yeah, sure. I don't know. Aren't those like bad? I mean, aren't they made by Hasbro? So how bad can they really be? <laughs> 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 made by Mattel, but it's evil. Hell. It's inherently evil. Yeah, it's evil because the Malaysian kid assembled it. That's why it's evil. It's not evil. That really happened. Did you really? Did they? Did you say that to your mother? Yeah, that's what, she, that's what she said. Hey, Ma. Hey, Ma. Get around the stage. I don't think I said it like that. Hey, Ma. Ma, we're having a fucking poker game in the basement. I gotta get down there. I gotta go down. Ma, Rodney needs pop. I came up to get him a couple sodas. <laughs> oh, that's so spooky. How old were you? Maybe like five or six. Oh, my God. That's a horror movie. That's yeah. a horror movie right there. I bet it scared the shit out of her, probably. That's why your mom's the way she is. Probably. <laughs> Thanks a lot. She lo- that's, She lost you that day. She that's the day my mother lost me. That's, that's the day he became obsessed with sleepwalking. Yeah. Every day the guy sleepwalks now. I don't know what happened. Uh, do you still sleepwalk? Dude, this was two years ago, that story. So, yeah, probably. Like I'm saying today, like tonight. I don't force it. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm charging this camera. It's happened rarely. I doubt it will happen. Maybe because we're talking about it a bunch, I will. Yeah, fingers crossed I sleepwalk. <laughs> I will record it. Fingers crossed I sleepwalk and I get in the car and drive somewhere. I'll and somehow make it I'll there chase make you, it, not... and make it there unscathed and wake up in the parking lot so confused. <laughs> and just they stick wanted to, me and just stick to the news for the next day for hit and runs. Oh my gosh. Be like, oh thank God I didn't fucking hit anybody. They wanted Terry Queen. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm ordering with my eyes rolled back in my head. They're like, sir, are you even there? I have no money. <laughs> are you even there? Give me the food. They told me to eat. I want to eat. One frosty. I, I, I just go like, they told me to eat. I want to eat. They told me to eat. I want to eat. They told me to eat. I want to eat. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm you hungry. You leave the driveway the wrong way through the neighborhood. You yard. back. You yeah. You back up through the drive-through com- like flawlessly with your eyes rolled back in your head. <laughs> you order weird. all the menu items in reverse order, yeah. like in reverse. Like yeah. instead of saying frosty, you say like yes, for <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, See yeah. you know, <laughs> I think he wants a number seven with a small sprite. I'm not really sure. Uh, but, but, play, wait, quick, play it in reverse. Play it in reverse. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, that would that would be good. So I think I'm. So I think like tarot and stuff like like that's what we were saying. I think this stuff gets a bad rap because of people like you, little five year olds walking out, don't want to play with your little ghost friends. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, no one wants to, like, confront that, that spirits and stuff are real because it's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, of course you don't want to say they're real because it's fucking nuts. Dude. Yeah. Because there's an air, it's an air person that you can't see that can, sh- air that can strangle you. It's like, uh, it's like when SpongeBob had that invisible bubble man. Imagine you could be invisible. There's so many people out there. There's so many people, so many people out there. I have a friend upon a friend upon, they all have crazy stories about Either ghost spirits, something. You know, they said there's people that see them all the time. Yeah. Imagine, like, I was sitting here and I just saw four faces constantly surrounding me, laughing in my face. That would be so nuts. It'd be so annoying. Because I bet, dude, it'd be so annoying. You're trying to drive a car and it's just in front of you. I got on my face. I got to take a left. Yeah. You know what's a cool way to think about it? It's like if you looked out on this beach, everyone who's ever been on this beach is sitting here at this very time, all on top of each other. Yeah. But we all operate. We're all operating on like a different tier of the afterlife. Yeah. Like we're just reliving our life. Is it like dimensions, you think? Like we just relive, yeah. I believe that. The dimensions. Like they're separated by like there's like a fifth there's like forty years. And so you can like kind of intermingle between. But for the most of them you're gonna be kind of caught in a certain way. There's a lot of people on this beach, I gotta say. Yeah, for I'm impressed. We're not telling you where this is. That's what you said earlier. Yeah, Hampton Beach. Yeah. Hampton Beach in Lisbon, Portugal. Hey, what's what's the craziest secret you were ever told? And we're gonna right now. Why am I gonna do that? Hey, tell me. What's my craziest secret? Yeah, that someone told you. That someone told me? Yeah, Dude, that's no that you, no, you got the you, yeah, hey, you got the clearance to say it now. But what if they see you this? They, no one they're not no one's I don't watching really think this. I have any crazy secrets. This thing I, I know. Up. I know my buddy. I like. I don't know. Change Stein's name to something else. All right. Stein's name is now Fred. Okay. So Fred. So told Fred you. told me. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Stein, I'm kidding, bro. I would never. 
right. I know your secret, though, so just fucking let you know. But uh, President Radak no, Obama. No, I don't think I have secrets. I think I just have a couple of my buddies' girlfriends don't know necessarily every single girl that they slept with before them, but that's just more to protect. You know what I mean? And yeah. you just don't bring it up. And, but that's probably the extent of secrets. It's like I know, I know more about some people than other people do. You know? Because some people, yeah. yeah. I don't want to put people's, I don't want to air people's business out there. Even if it's anonymous. Yeah. That's lame. Yeah, like I have a, yeah, I have a couple of buddies who have, yeah. yeah. I want a secret, man. All right. Um, when I was eight, I killed my neighbor. <laughs> I have a dream. Oh, I this is my a neighbor. nightmare about that stuff, you know. No joke. That you killed somebody? Yeah. You had a nightmare that you killed yeah. someone. Uh, that's so that's not bad. good. That means it wasn't a nightmare. It was a message. Oh, oh. No, I do though. It's so bad. That's weird. I still like. I still try to clean it up. I'm a courteous. I do. I still try to clean, not to hide it, just to clean it. Yeah, I do. I feel. I feel bad that I'm leaving a mess. That's fucking funny, dude. I'm like. I'm like. I don't want to leave a mess for somebody. That's fucking funny. I'm like. This is. I feel so bad. It's such a mess. You just leave it out on the ground. You're like, oh, the carpet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, should I call Sammy Steamer? I'm like, how do I deal with this? Yeah, that's unfortunate. I saw. Uh, and then I'm like, oh god! I, then I realize. Then I realize I killed someone after I cleaned the mess. I'm like, oh my god! And then I, you go, at least I cleaned it up. Yeah, <laughs> at least I cleaned it up. They'll never but know. then, then I go, oh my god! They're gonna think I just was trying to hide it. And I'm like, this is so wrong. But you, but you're like, I just have OCD. <laughs> it just drove me nuts that it was so oh. messy. I love cleaning. I love a clean house. Man. But you should have just been like Dexter, where he kills on the plastic wrap, so then he can just wrap you up. Oh, that's he was he was very efficient. Didn't he get caught in the new one? Yeah, I think so. I, I don't. I don't watch. The I new didn't one. watch it. If he gets caught, sorry guys. Yeah, but I, from what I saw, he was a little <laughs> sloppy, and they found a bolt from a leg brace that's after really, a fire. That's not efficient. No, but she said it, it was only one manufacturer, and it was the manufacturer oh. for the guy that died. Yeah, it was a rich kid had a leg brace, and he like shot a white deer, so we murdered him because he was upset. And then that like, ding! And then his son's like, I want to kill people too. And his sister's ghost is going, no, you fucking idiot. He's going, come on, let's kill people. And so then they go and kill people. That's so, pretty much it. Then they start murdering people, and he's dating the cop, and her daughter comes around. The daughter likes his son, and they're both just murdering people. Is that true? Yeah, that's the show. Oh, my God. His son, his son tracks him down, really? finds him. He lies about it at first. Then he lets him in. Then he eventually is like, hey, man. Essentially, there was a guy that was trying to expose him. There was another serial killer. Believe it or not, there was... You're so ruining this guy. Sorry. Dude, Keep going. It's been out for fucking forever. I didn't even watch it. I didn't even watch the full show. So. <laughs> it's so funny. There's like two serial killers in the town. One of them's trying to like expose him, and he's trying to expose the other one, essentially. And so the son ends up, ends up finding him, and the guy ends up becoming friends with the guy, with Dexter's son. And so okay. then once that happens, Dexter's like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Like, nope. Nope. Okay. And so then they find out, hey, this guy, so he had killed this guy's son. That's why he's now trying to expose him. The guy with the leg brace. Okay. He killed somebody out of rage. Like, it wasn't... Yeah, yeah it wasn't... Wow. It was because he killed the white deer that he so admired and he just straight up went up to him and just fucking hit him with the gun, with the butt of his weapon wow. and woke up and chopped him up. Yeah. But his dad had killed a bunch of people. And so there was actually somebody... Dexter's a dick. He's actually a dickhead. He wasn't so, like, in control after all. He Maybe wasn't, not. He wasn't killing people, like, to help. No, I think they kind of revealed that he just liked killing people in, the, in this new one. Yeah, and, then he, and then he basically started his son on the same path. Oh, my God. I think is what happened. But I think he saw, oh, my God, you tracked me down. You've got some fucking skill. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, you found me, dude. You're good. You are good. Like, you're going to be really good at killing people. Like he's, you sound like he's proud. You're like, well, he is. No, he I'm really. But that's really how he. That is literally how he approached it. It wasn't a, I'm ashamed. It was so he you, bought into it and was like, this is great. Is, I'm gonna build a murder empire with my kid. Was it really the kid in the original show or somebody? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. I, I don't remember the original show. It's I hate the, when they switch people out. If you've ever. But seen also, those shows, he's so grown up now that you don't know. Yeah, I guess that's true. When they switch people out and it's not it's the even same close, sister, I will say that. Okay, and she looks the same. I mean, when they switch people out, it stinks. Because those people that switched out, it's like, like, that doesn't even look like the person. It sounds like someone totally different. Yeah. I mean, I know it sounds really bland, but I really Well, like, dude, me. the best example is Family Matters, when Aunt Viv all of a sudden is yes. super dark skin, and then yeah, it's light does. skin, and they're like, hey, Aunt Viv, yeah. you look different. Like, they actually say it. Like, you look a little different, yeah. Aunt Viv. I'm I was sick. So I stopped watching the show. I was like, I, I gave up, or... 
or like um, like you two have and a half men. You have to kill her off. Like you don't bring someone else in. Two and a half men. Charlie Sheen was the show. Charlie Sheen was the show. Nightmare or not. No disrespect to Alan Kramer, but yeah, or whatever his name is. Is it Alan Kramer? What's his name? Uh, Ashton Kutcher. No, the guy who plays um Alan on the show. Oh, is it his name, Alan Kramer? You think he might be in the show? It was Alan. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That guy who has the freaking fake hair that he sprayed on. He was bald the whole time. But yeah, Ashley Kutcher just comes in and does a weird role. It was like, kind of like in The Office when Michael Scott left. It wasn't that good anymore. Right, yes. You add James Spader, and then you have, yeah. It's just, just a money grab. It's, it's a just, money yeah. grab, yeah. yeah. And I felt, I felt like it was just, it, was, it wasn't a fun dynamic anymore. And I, you can't do that. You just can't. I yeah. don't know. The people want it. They want it. What I do like is when they bring something back, but they're getting really bad at it now. That's fun. It's when fun they, when they bring characters back. Yes. Like, they, it sucks that Danny Masterson happened to rape those girls, but if he didn't, it was going to be great if they brought him back in the ranch because they kind of kept it open the whole time. Yeah, they did. Case. They did. They because really did. Because it's Ashton Kutcher's boy. Like, he was Ashton yes. Kutcher's fucking boy. He was. He really and was. And so, yeah. And also, he was a great actor. I'm sorry. And the show was great with him in it. He played a great character. Well, they, they, he, the, his, acting is, his acting is fine. It's, not, it, it's just their personal life. They can't support it. Yeah, no, of course not. Well, he raped somebody. It's, it actually was, yeah. <laughs> He, the way you say it, we raped somebody. Yeah. Oh yeah, obviously he's. Uh, it was a while ago, and I'm sure he's sorry. I mean, I don't. I have no idea if he's sorry. He wasn't caught, so he probably didn't give a fuck. I don't know. See, I don't even remember the case. I guess it was like two. It was like 2002 that they got him for. Really? But Scientology, I guess, like he was deep in the Scientology really? at the time. Deep, deep, deep. I didn't know. Because no, who else was was Leah Remini? Oh yeah, from that, fucking King of Queens. She got out though, right? She's out. Yeah, but she was speaking on how fucking crazy he was. Oh. Like he was nuts. Isn't Tom Cruise like their leader? <laughs> their leader. Take me to your leader. Dude, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's, he's, he's exactly. like sixty flying planes around. He's yeah, drinking he's the there. juice. He's drinking the Kool Aid over there. Uh, what is Scientology? I don't see. Like, I, what's the belief system? I don't know. I haven't looked at it. So yeah, did they follow the Chinese? I, I had a menu? friend today. Listen, I had a friend today say, and I gotta say, this is a really cool way to look at it. They take a little bit of each religion, and they build their own religion. Yeah, it's fun. I'm like, that's what really everybody nice... does with everything nowadays, so you might as well apply it to that. Yeah, and I'm like, that's a really beautiful way to look it's at it. It's like religion. making them pizza. It is. I was like, that's it's a like nice I want to meet lovers with not all of the vegetables. So just green peppers. Because I everyone can say, hey, I like this religion all the way. But the truth is, there's not missing that. no yeah, everybody dislikes an aspect of everything. It's the 80-20 rule. And it's really tough to say you're gonna love that whole religion. Because there's pieces of it, like this, this has to be a little bit of that religion that you're not gonna love. Yeah. All right. I think we should. I think that's a good way to end it. Yeah. I don't we're, think we're they can see right. us that much anymore. I don't think. I think we're gonna be tough getting light on. All right. Peace, everybody. Fuck your mother. <laughs>